Hello, hi there. I am doing this video to show Pro Tools uh, 10 compatibility with the new OSX Mountain Line, which was released today, which is the 25th of July 2012. Pro Tools 10 version 10.2.0. No further updates. Everything works well. Uh, initially, I had some problems with grid lines, but they seem to be well, working now. Uh, plugins are fine, no incompatibility with plugins, although I'm just running the Wave Suite and some of the extra uh, extra plugins that Pro Tools supplied me with with my 003 back in the day. Um, the only annoying thing is, as you can see here in the menus, they're sort of cut in half. And this is a problem that I receive when getting the Retina MacBook display. I assume it's probably linked with that, and I know a lot of elements need to be upgraded uh, within Pro Tools, um, but most of them are vector-based, uh, including the WAF forms. Um, but you can see here, even the solo button and the mute button are somewhat pixelated, and it looks like some of the other um, few features, uh, like these these tools here, are a bit pixelated as well. Uh, but anyway, it's okay, and it's working great. Um, the I've had some problems with uh, performance between Pro Tools 9 and Pro Tools 10, uh, but it's suddenly sprung to my mind why this may be. Um, this session here is a 32-bit floating point session, um, and it works well. Now, <coughs> that brings me to the main reason why Pro Tools 10 um, is a bit more intensive than 9, especially if you're using native plugins, and that is because the mix engine has changed. Uh, it sounds a bit more analog, in fact, really close to analog now, which is lovely. Um, so that is why it's a bit more intensive. So when you're running plugins, especially on a 32-bit floating point session, uh, you'll find that there is some, some more strain on the session uh, than you'd find in Pro Tools 9, which is expected. I've run 24-bit and 16-bit projects, and they work okay. So I'm not really bothered about that. Uh, as you know, Mountain Line has all the really cool new features uh, with iCloud, reminders, notes. Uh, they've adequately renamed contacts, or uh, yeah, the contacts was renamed as well as um, calendar, I believe, uh, just to calendar. Um, yeah, not iCal anymore, surprisingly. So, yeah, uh, it's a really good stable operating system. Again, it is slow because I'm doing the screen recording. Uh, notification center. Uh, and a few more other bits and bobs. Um, but I wanted to upgrade, and I assume that many other people will want to upgrade as well, basically because everyone wants to upgrade. Everyone wants the newest thing. Uh, everyone wants to keep their iPhone and iPad up to date. Um, and to be fair, developers have had quite a few months to get everything sorted because the beta of Mountain Lion has been out for almost a year now. So I think Pro Tools... Um, was probably included in that uh, beta, beta scheme. Uh, and they've done a good job at keeping it up to date. Um, so we'll wait until the UI uh, elements have been upgraded. I assume they're probably working on that now, um, as they've probably only heard about the Retina display quite recently. Um, but Mountain Line, very solid. Uh, there's some apps that don't work, um, and it actually does tell you. It says, ah, these apps are not working with Mountain Line. And it puts them in your in your drive. You go to your main storage drive and then go to incompatible software. Uh, it pushes them all to there. And for me, it was Parallels. Parallels had stopped working. So I'm probably going to have to fish around for an upgrade. Uh, otherwise, I may move uh, to something a bit more adequate. Although Parallels is great. Windows started up in like five seconds in this beast. Um, as for the activity, uh, I'm not really running much on this Pro Tools session, but yeah, I mean, it's it's okay. It's a bit slower than before, but I'm happy with it. So I give you my full consent if you want to upgrade your system to Line, Mountain Line rather. Um, go ahead, you won't be disappointed, and enjoy Pro Tools 10 running on Mountain Line. Bye.